Hi everybody, as many of you has requested already, um, today we will start a new series of tutorials related with the ESP Easy firmware. Uh, as you know, the ESP Easy firmware it's a um, it's a very very uh, simple to use alternative to the um, standard uh, Arduino IDE environment or the Lua interpreter or the brilliant ESP Basic uh, interpreter. Yeah. So uh, I know that um, many people are using the ESP Easy for uh, home automation projects, especially combined with uh, Domotics or and Open Hub. So um, uh, I was thinking that uh, it's a um, very good idea to give it a try and to see exactly how easy it's to work with and uh, what are the, the results. Uh, for our tests, I will uh, use um, a standard setup that um, contains the um, uh, next evolution uh, board that it's basically an ESP8266 uh, development board. Uh, the MPDM version 4 universal AC dimmer and uh, uh, a standard light bulb that in our case it's a 105 watt uh, echo light bulb. This is uh, the new EU standard light bulb and um, it's basically a, a halogen lamp inside. Yeah, uh, as you know already, in you the the standard filament light bulbs are banned. Yeah, so this is the new fancy echo whatever. Okay, so what we have here now it's a standard setup that I've used uh, for the Lua examples, for the Arduino ID examples, for the Blink examples, for the ESP Basic examples, and now uh, we are using the same one uh, to see how it's going with the ESP Easy firmware. Uh, to give it a quick try, I have uh, downloaded already the firmware. Um, I've chosen the, the ESP is the release 147. It's a release candidate number seven. Yeah, and I just extract it here. So uh, the process uh, should be pretty straightforward. Just double click on the, on the flash command, and uh, after that you just need to choose your your communication port. In our case, it's one. Uh, your flash size. In our case, is 400. And 96 and the build example as I said it's 146 and now it should start the, the process of uh, uploading uh, the flash yeah you, you can see it here yeah it's uh, going very good um, until it's done uh, I want to explain you a little bit about the setup for today. So what are we using uh, today? It's a very, very simple setup. So basically from the pin number five of the ESP basic, we will uh, um, output a, a PWM signal that will enter on the uh, V-control pin of the MPDM version four board. Yeah. So, uh, this is the, the easiest way to, to connect it. Yeah? So we have just ground uh, VCC and the PWM uh, pin output used as a, as a voltage control. Yeah? Uh, I want also to, to mention again the fact that uh, on the input, on the V-control input, you have already um, a first order low pass filter. So uh, it will help smoothing the, the PWM signal. Yeah, uh, This is the, the simple setup for today. In the next examples, we will use also the um, PCA9685 that it's a dedicated 16-channel 12-bit PWM driver. And of course, why not? We can go even further and uh, use a, a dedicated um, uh, DAC. Yeah? Okay, so as you can see here, the the process has already finished yeah 
so basically uh, the firmware was loaded the the window will will close and now we need to find our our board our new board um, usually is going on 111 but it will be very simple to find it using uh, direct serial connection yeah speed it's 115 just a second uh, I want to open uh, terminal just a second a serial on com one one hundred fifteen two hundred oops open so what I want to see after pressing the reset okay we can see now in the in the serial console the the messages coming from from the board there yeah? so as you can see uh, it's booting build number 147 uh, is no SSID set it up now um, and other else everything it's looking uh, it's looking uh, okay yeah so the next step will be to directly connect to the the ESP yeah so basically you need to search and find your ESP zero uh, network as you can see it was already detected and I will say it's a home network and from the status we can see the IP address yeah so in our case it's uh, 4.1 yeah so it's in AEP mode first and it's 4.1 4.1 yeah 4.1 yep you can see it, uh, it's here uh, we have jumped directly in the setup page and we need to choose our SSID from here this is our SSID SPLab1 and this is the password for today and we will uh, try to connect as you can see in in the on the serial window it's connecting to the, to the wi-fi yeah so now it's saying that everything is nice and dandy uh, i don't know So if I give it uh, maybe a reboot, let me try to give it a reboot. It's booting no SSID, so it was not saved. Um, let's try it again. Um, ESP lab one and password. Maybe I typed wrong. Connect. Um, 
it's connecting and now it's connected yeah so uh, i mistyped the password probably yeah so now um it's saying that it's uh, properly connected so this time uh, it should be okay yeah and as you can see we have already the allocated ip address for it yeah very nice uh next step let's go to this ip address um another reboot let's see what's happening this time okay connected to the wi-fi and it's connected and the ip address was 169 no. okay so now we can see it so we have successfully boot up the esp uh, easy uh, firmware and uh, it's looking uh, quite okay it's working we have the SDA and, and SCL defined 4 and 5. Okay. Uh, no devices defined. And of course, we have some tools here. Hmm. Interesting. And um, if we want to. if we want to to give it a try we should choose from here 169 uh, pin number 5 So this thing should give us okay so let me it seems to work okay let me power up the module yes yeah, so now we have also the mains on um, 850 uh, yeah you can see uh, it's uh, it's working yeah so this is this is um, the first test with uh, ESP -EZ and direct PWM control yeah so now our MPDM version 4 AC dimmer board it's receiving a PWM signal as we are sending it from here from the ESP -EZ, yeah? so just let's give it 700 and uh, 550 and 890 yes very nice and you know uh, I just find out another uh, nice thing um, as you can see the the maximum and minimum level so i'm talking the v control levels yeah they are remaining the same as in um, esp basic and lua and uh, whatever we have used before yeah so the, uh, the maximum um, number in esp basic that means light off was 890 points yeah so here it's the same thing 890 very nice 750 yeah um the the different light levels that you see when i'm changing it it's happening because of the uh, auto exposure of the camera 
Yeah, so it's going gradually from one level to another level. It, you don't have that jump yet. Yeah? So let me go very, very low. That means very high, 150. Yeah, so this is maximum level, but because of the auto exposure of the camera, you have the feeling that it's uh, glowing up and down, but it doesn't happen. Yeah, so let me go down 450. Uh, 550, 650, 750, 850, 850, 850, 850, 850, 850, 850, 850, I will repeat again this thing. If you are going out of the, the dimming interval, uh, you will be out of sync and the things obviously will not work anymore. Okay, yeah. So let me go 920, yeah. So this one will put us out of the interval. So we will start losing the, the sync with the uh, phase, yeah. So uh, the 50 hertz sinus, yeah. And you will see what will happen. Uh, 940. You see, now everything is going strange because we are out of sync. And I will suggest you to avoid this thing because if you are doing, I'm doing this thing to help you to not doing it. Yeah. So this is the best way to, to break the board. Yeah. So. Let's go back inside the, the dimming interval. Yeah. Yeah. 890. Very nice. So this is the first test. Uh, I didn't want to to polish the video. I didn't want to to make it to look uh, uh, nicer than it is. Yeah. So it was a, if you want a first experience, I've just picked up a board where I didn't install before uh, ESP Easy, uh, and I, I just tried to install it to see exactly what's happening step by step. Uh, next time, we will go a little bit deeper, and uh, I will uh, try to show you uh, how easy or complicated it's to integrate the um, MPDM version 4 dimmer with domotics. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you like my work, please give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe. See you next time.